Alright guys, it's BLM here. It's time for another video and this is going to be another pickup video and uh, this pickup video is going to be I think a three-parter maybe? I have no clue. Um, there's quite a decent amount of stuff here. This is everything from the last week or um, this is like what, a week after the Flea World pickups and stuff like that. Um, which it's like the middle of May but by the time you see this it's going to be like June or July or something. I have no fucking clue. But yeah, got some stuff here. Um, a decent amount, a lot, a good amount of games actually. Because recently, a lot of the stuff I've been picking up are uh, DVDs. But this time, I think only like five DVDs, and everything else is games. So um, yeah, this is gonna be the first part. This first part is pretty much going to be stuff from um, what the fuck was it? Stuff from I think uh, Cybertron video games, and then GameStop. So. Yeah, let's get to that stuff. Okay, so, yeah, um, I guess I'll do GameStop first since the GameStop stuff, actually both of these stacks aren't really too impressive. Um, but whatever, the GameStop stuff here, um, the GameStop had a buy two get one free sale, um, what was it, last week? And, um, yeah, I ended up going there picking up a few games here. I believe I spent, I think $10, maybe $9, something like that on, uh, was it, nine games here, so not too bad. These first three games here were all a buck a piece, and yeah. Uh, for 360, you got Truth or Lies. I picked this up because I needed um, another game to get uh, buy to get one free. So yeah, got that one. And the two games I really was going to pick up were uh, Fracture here for uh, 360, but sadly, no manual. But I've been looking for a copy of this for a while now. I mean, this game's been a dollar at GameStop for a while, but I could never find a complete copy, or a copy of at least the case, I should say. And I uh, yeah, finally found one, so I didn't think it was that bad. Only 60 cents after discounts and everything. Um, and then last game here is for the Wii. I got Ultimate Board Game Collection. Um, again, a six, uh, 60 cents. And for a Wii game, it's like, might as well. Uh, that one is complete, though. All right, these next three games here were two bucks a piece. So, um, was it $1.30, $1.20 a piece after discounts? Something like that. Uh, last Wii game here. Um, is Safe Cracker. I've never heard of this game ever, and uh, it is complete. And I looked it up, it's around like a $10 $15 game, apparently, complete. So, um, two bucks wasn't that bad, or less than that, technically. And then the rest of these games here are um, PS3 games, but they're almost all filler. Um, actually, they pretty much all are filler, <laughs> but um, they're cheap, and I want to get um, really as many PS3 games as possible. I, I, like maybe at some point a complete collection I don't know it'll take forever but whatever um, say I got um, UFC 2009 um, what is it undisputed uh, just picked it up because it was cheap it is complete all these are complete I believe if yeah they should be I uh, got MLB the show um, LMB 10 the show um, I don't know sports so yay got NBA 2k10 um, yeah just another sports game but uh, got it because it was cheap. Got, um, oh yeah, that was $2, yeah. And then this one was $2 too. I got Rock Band 2. Um, again, another filler title, but decided to get since it was buy to get one and everything. And then the last game here that I got was, uh, 3 bucks. And, um, I mean, it still ended up being, like, relatively cheap after all the discounts. I don't know the exact amount, but whatever. But yeah, for 3 bucks, got Brink. I see this game all the fucking time. I mean, I literally see this at every single game store I go to, and it's always like two to, I'm from 3 to $5. Um, never picked it up, though, until now. Just got it, whatever. It is complete, pretty good shape, except for, yeah, you can see right there, a little bit of a wrinkle in the manual right there, but whatever. Um, 3 bucks, just picked it up. It's pretty much filler for me, but whatever. All right, and the final stuff here um, is from Cybertron Video Games. I end up trading in some more stuff. Uh, I really don't remember too much of what I traded in. Uh, I know I didn't pay too much for the stuff I traded in, like three, maybe three dollars at most. But it was um, uh, a lot of the duplicates that you saw in my last uh, video um, were traded in, and a few disc-only games. Um, the only thing good in there was a disc-only Kingdom Hearts. So I mean, it, it really wasn't that impressive of a like stack of games. It was around I don't know, like ten games or so. And they gave me $18. I was happy with that. Um, I, as I said, the stuff that I traded in wasn't that great. I mean, uh, Resistance for PS3 was in there. Um, what was it? Splashdown for PS2. Just some crap, really. So I, I was happy with $18. Actually, I was expecting much, much less. So when they said 18 I was like, okay. And I uh, ended up getting uh, this stuff over here. 
Uh, if I remember correctly, I end up spending an extra two dollars, probably. Um, so yeah, everything there is buy two get one on Friday. So I always go on Friday because might as well. And um, even then, so the Xbox games I got were buy two get two. So that's even better. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll start off here. Now, I don't think these are in really any particular order, but um, for the Game Boy Color. I got um, Missile Command. Uh, it's a one with the Rumble Pack thing, but the uh, battery cover is gone. But it was only a dollar, and buy two get one. It was like whatever. Uh, and after that, got Bases Loaded Two or Super Bases Loaded Two for Super Nintendo. Uh, this one didn't have a price on it, but he said the sports games he would do. It was either seventy-five or ninety-five cents. Something like that, whatever. Oh, whatever, it was cheap. I mean, it's essentially one of the free games, so. Whatever, and then, um, got this, uh, for the Game Gear. I got a complete copy of, uh, Sports Trivia. I don't even have a Game Gear yet. I actually already had this game, but, uh, I thought for, I mean, less than a dollar after discounts, it was worth it to just get the box. The box is in the gray shape, it's crushed on the bottom, uh, and on the side a bit. But, um, I mean, yeah, for less than a dollar, it was like, all right, I'll get it. And then I uh, got some Genesis games here. These were, um, these also had no prices on it, so it was either 75 or 95 cents. I don't remember, but either way, it was cheap. Got uh, ESPN Sunday Night Football, or NFL, whatever. Uh, oh, I could have sworn this one was complete. I guess it isn't. Um, I guess just manual for that one. Um, yeah, I could have sworn I had the manual. I guess not. Uh, then, I'm pretty sure these two had the manuals, though. I got pro, uh, pro Quarterback. Yeah, this one has the manual. Pretty good shape, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, that was cheap. And then I got Team USA Basketball. And, yeah, this one has the manual and a poster. Yeah, just one of the sports ones. I think I already have, like, three copies of that one. So, yay for that. All right, and, all right, here are the Xbox games. These were all dirt cheap, and they were buy two, get two. Um, so, I mean, I didn't pay much for these at all. Uh, these first six games here were uh, two, uh, one dollar a piece. Uh, they're all filler sports titles. Got Arena Football because I do want to get a complete Xbox collection. Uh, I would say Xbox, GameCube, N64, and PS3 are like my main consoles to collect for right now in terms of complete collections. So um, yeah, got uh, Tiger Woods 2005, uh, NCAA Football 08, NHL Hits 2002, which I thought I had, but I looked it up and I guess I didn't. Uh, this one's complete. Uh, got Xbox a Music Maker, uh, which I, again, another one I thought I had, but I guess I didn't. Actually, I realized I didn't have this one doing the collection video, but, yeah. Um, and I was surprised I didn't have this one either. I mean, this is one of the most common games for the console, but I didn't have it. That's Forza More Sports. This was only a dollar, so I got it. Yeah, no manual, but whatever. It was less than a dollar. Like, what, 50 cents? So, yeah. And then... Um, the last two here were priced at two bucks a piece, but I still got them, just whatever. Conflict, uh, Desert Storm, uh, just filler title really. Manual, bit wrinkled, but what are you going to do? And then uh, this game is one I already have for the PS2, and I already played through and everything, but um, I still have nostalgia for the movie that this game is based on, so I decided to get the game for two bucks, and that is Zathura. Um, love the movie. The game, meh, but... This was complete and pretty good shape, I believe. Oh, all right, I guess not. The case is cracked, but other than that, the game is in good shape. So, yeah, got that. And then, yeah, only six games. Wow, this video is actually shorter than what I thought it would be. But, um, yeah, six games left here. Um, these were, yeah, these were dirt cheap as well. These were buy two, get one again. Um, got a few PS2 titles here. These were both priced at a buck a piece. Got Buzz, the Hollywood quiz. Um, yeah. And then, this game I've been looking for forever. Uh, you might laugh when you actually see it because it's probably one of the shittiest games ever. But I mean, I, I really wanted this game. And I uh, was so happy to find it. And that is Britney's Dance Beat for PS2. 95 cents. I'm, I was going to pick it up no matter what. I mean, this was a steal in my opinion. It's not worth anything. It's not rare or anything. It's No one wants this fucking game. But... I did, and extremely happy to get that. I actually want to play this, just to see how terrible it is. And then, um, I think these were the more expensive titles. Then again, these weren't expensive at all. Like, almost everything, actually, maybe everything I just showed you there, like, before this was a dollar. Uh, these were, like, 
two dollars and three dollars so not too much here so yeah for the ps1 picked up a game i haven't seen uh too often like i've seen it once or twice before but um yeah this was two bucks so i decided to get it and that's miracle space race i believe yeah miracle space race has a sticker and i still need to get off of it but um yeah complete pretty good shape uh i don't know it looks like a decent game maybe like a i mean i'm pretty sure it's a budget title but uh yeah it looks okay and then um one N64 title here. Uh, I actually had two more in this stack when I because I originally just went around the store and just getting everything that was cheap that I didn't have. And then at the end, like he added it all up and it was like twenty five dollars or something. So I took out a few games. Um, and I had like two other N64 fillers in there that I took out. And then there was one more game that I took out. I think it was like Trick Border or something for Game Boy. But um, yeah, the one N64 game that I kept in the stack was uh, Indie Racing. 2000 this was three bucks um the other two were also three bucks other two n64 games were also three bucks but they were i mean they were filler sports titles like it was another racing game. gt64 and then um fishing something fishing that i don't have but um yeah um i decided to keep this one in there just because i think it's the more uncommon one out of the three like i don't see this one as often as the other two so i decided to get this one over the other ones but yeah, and then uh, two Wii games here, nothing special, but wow, I really didn't save the best for last. Then there was really no best in this pickup video because almost all this stuff is really just filler, but whatever. Um, this for the Wii, this was two bucks, got Ultimate Band. Oh, it's complete, so got that. And then the final game for this pickup video, um, definitely the best one out of the bunch. Um, this was three bucks. Um, I, I've never seen this game before, so I decided to pick it up for three bucks it's not anything special though it's monkey mischief um party time uh it looks like a shovelware game but um i i when i saw it, it was called monkey mischief and it was only three dollars i kind of had to pick it up uh it is complete in pretty good shape so um yeah for three bucks i, I mean i mean actually less and then the credit and everything so i mean i picked it up just whatever so yeah, that is everything from the game stores. Actually, not entirely true, but, but everything from Cybertron and GameStop. So um, yeah, stay tuned for part two. Part two will be garage sales, and part three will probably be the other stuff that's up there. So yeah, thank you for watching.